Hi, I'm Tracy, VE3TWM. Thank you for tuning in to Outdoors on the Air. Those of you who have seen my other videos may know that I have experienced considerable success with high-end fed antennas, which are produced in Holland by Ron PA3RK and Rob PA3EKE. Recently, Ron sent me a new model to test. In this pouch is their portable ultralight mini high-end fed antenna. Like several of their other models, the portable ultralight mini covers all or part of 40 meters, 20 meters, 15 meters, and 10 meters without the need of a tuner or counterpoise. What makes this model stand out from the others is its extremely compact size. Let's take the antenna out of the pouch and see what Ron and Rob have come up with. The portable mini includes the matching network, 20 meters of antenna wire, and a sturdy but lightweight spool to store the wire on when the antenna is not deployed. In the past I've had the pleasure of using the high-end fed ultralight Mark II packet and the high-end fed 4-band classic. Those antennas have provided me with excellent communications capability across the same frequency range as provided by the new portable ultralight mini. So why produce a new antenna when they already have others with similar coverage? For the purpose of comparison, here is the matching unit of the portable ultralight mini compared with one of the more traditional high-end fed antennas. I want to point out that these antennas are both rated for 100 watts. These are not antennas which have been designed only for QRP. I mention this as end-fed antennas that are rated for 100 watts typically have much larger matching units than their QRP counterparts. Knowing this, I am extremely impressed with the small size of the matching unit for the portable mini. Some of you might be asking yourselves, why the big deal over small size? I can tell you that as someone who is into backpacking, size matters. When you have a pack with limited storage space, you have to choose the items you will bring based upon three factors. What the item can do, how much the item weighs, and how large it is. Whether you are backpacking, traveling for business or pleasure, or simply stuffing your go kit, size definitely matters. If this antenna performs well, it will become the go-to portable choice for many amateur radio operators. Now that we've examined the size of the matching unit, Let's take a closer look at the antenna. The portable ultralight mini comes in one of four configurations. You can opt for either 35 watt power handling or the full 100 watt rated version. Additionally, those two options are available with either a BNC or SMA connector. The model I have is the 100 watt with SMA connector. The matching unit is ABS IP65 which is tough and waterproof. The antenna radiator is 20 meters, that's just under 66 feet, of a very special thin and rugged wire. Let's delve further into the type of wire used for the radiator. This wire has an aramid core. According to Wikipedia, aramid fibers are a class of heat resistant and strong synthetic fiber. They are used in aerospace and military applications for ballistic rated body armor fabric. The aramid core in the antenna wire is wrapped with six one quarter millimeter copper strands. This is all wrapped in weatherproof polyethylene insulation giving the wire an outside diameter of just 1.7 millimeters. Ron advised me of two special notes in regard to this antenna wire. First take care to roll up the wire without kinking it. Kinks in the wire can damage the insulation. Let me add that in my experience, this wire is easy to roll up without kinking. Just don't rush and you'll be fine. Secondly, when deploying in cold temperatures, do not stretch the wire more than necessary. In cold temperatures under 10 degrees Celsius, that's 50 degrees Fahrenheit, the insulation will not stretch well and may crack. The reason for this is that the Kevlar fiber is more elastic than the insulation. To work around this, simply leave a bit of slack in the antenna when deploying it. These precautions are a small price to pay for the extreme portability of the antenna. 
to help care for the wire when the antenna is not in use, this robust, lightweight spool is included in the package. If you would rather utilize a thicker 2mm radiator, you can opt for one when placing your order from the high-end company website. Okay, I want to make a couple of notes in regard to the matching unit. I mentioned earlier that you can order your ultralight mini antenna with either an SMA or a BNC connector. High-end company sells pre-assembled coaxial cables that will mate with the matching unit or you can use your own. If you choose to order one from Ron, rest assured the cable will be of very high quality. As an aside, I was very impressed but not really surprised to learn that Ron was previously employed by Bang and Olufsen, the legendary high-end audio company. Ron's passion for quality really shows in the high-end company products I've had a chance to review. The second point I want to make about the matching unit is the connector that is used to attach the radiator. The screw-on connection point is solid and waterproof. Note also the key ring which is used as a strain relief for the radiator. Speaking of the radiator, the far end has a metal raceway with a screw and nut used to adjust the length of the radiator. This eliminates the need for cutting the wire, which of course means you won't run into the situation of having previously cut the radiator too short for your next installation. If you find you need to shorten the radiator to give an acceptable SWR, just pull the wire through and tape or otherwise fasten the excess length back on itself. Personal experience with other high-end fed models has shown me I rarely need to adjust the length to achieve an appropriate SWR. For today's installation, I will use the Ultralight Mini as a sloper in combination with this fiberglass mini 10 meter telescopic mast. In imperial measurement, that height comes to 31.8 feet. You can purchase this compact rugged mast on the high-end company website. The weight of the mast is 1.3 kilograms, just under 3 pounds. It's solid and well suited to the rough handling portable gear will face in repeated deployments. The mast currently sells for 66 US dollars, which in my estimation is a great price. Okay, here's a look at the antenna as it rises towards the top of the mast. Looking pretty good, and now I think it's time to get on the air and see if we can make some contacts with it. For today's operation, I'll be using my trusty Yesu FT897D transceiver with RF power output set to 20 watts. Even though the FC30 antenna tuner is bolted to the side of this unit. I'm not using it today. The antenna is perfectly resonant across 40, 20, 15, and 10 meter bands. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey, Mexico. Could you say Whiskey Echo 3, Tango Whiskey, Mexico? Mexico. Negative correction on the call, Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey, Mexico. QSL? Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey, Mexico. Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey, Mexico. Uh, we are W2E over your 5 and 5, 55 over. Copy your 55, please copy my 5 and 7. Uh, you're making a nice trip into southern Ontario here today. Uh, Roger, you're being in Ontario. Roger, you're being in Ontario. What is the first name there? What is your name, Owen? The name is Tracy. Tango, Romeo, Alpha, Charlie, Yankee. QSL? Uh, did you say Tracy? Did you say the name Tracy, Owen? Roger, Roger. Anyone wishing to 
Victor Echo 3, Tango Whiskey, Mexico. QSL, uh, I actually am HF Portable today in a town called Milton, just north of Burlington, but my name is Tracy. Back to you. Hello, Roger. Well, you got a nice signal coming in. I'm handler at Bud Bravo Uniform Delta. And I'm located in Hayes, Kansas, which, well, if you were looking on a map of the United States, it'd be just about, just about the middle of it. Where we've got uh, overcast skies and oh, what is my thermometer saying? Up there, 54 degrees. So not exactly a winter day, but it is on the cool side out there. Over. Roger, bud. Uh, yeah, I wish my weather was quite that nice. We're probably down somewhere around. Uh, 35, 36 degrees Fahrenheit today. Uh, I'm out doing a little bit of camping, shooting a YouTube video, testing out a new antenna here, um, and I, I really appreciate the signal report. Uh, uh, back to you, bud. Hello, oh, Roger. Well, you faded down a little on that last transmission, but that's probably just band conditions, I suppose. The band has been in really great shape for quite a while now. <laughs> Hey, fantastic. Well, I really appreciate the radio report, and uh, good luck with your net. Uh, it's nice to have a place to check into when you're operating HF Portable. Well, you've seen it for yourself. Using the high-end fed Ultralight Mini and my FT897D, I made multiple contacts with little issue. Imagine what you could do with it running higher power levels. This is another amazing product from High End Company. If you are looking for a portable full-sized end-fed antenna with strong performance and the smallest form factor on the market, this one receives my highest recommendation. Please check out High End Company's website for information on this and all their other products. I've left a link to the site in my description notes below. I'd like to take this opportunity to extend my thanks to Ron at High End Company for sending me the Ultralight Mini and the 10 meter mass to test. Also, my thanks to all of you who watch my videos. Well, that's all for now. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Feel free to leave a comment below. I read all the comments and respond to as many as I can. People who like my videos, subscribe to my channel, and leave feedback really fuel my passion to keep coming out and making more videos. Having said all of that, get out of the shack, get outdoors, and get on the air. 73 from Tracy, VE3TWM.